companionship, raucous laughter, brilliant environment. I spied a bunch of Alzheimer's sufferers and they had a nice little placard with them which said, don't forget, and then some little kid was writing Alzheimer's on the bottom. Very helpful. Fiscal <laughs> policy, double dip recession. She then said to me, my dear, she said, have you ever considered starving children? And I said, yes, only just that once. Anyone done any ballroom dancing? No, good. Ballet? <laughs> Piss arm flailing dickhead dancing? Yay! I found the level. <laughs> Hello, my name is Logan Murray. I am probably the fourth best comedy tutor in Western Europe slash former Slavic states. I've worked all over the world. I've taught people as far east as the Philippines and as far west as Boulder, Colorado. And tonight, we're in Tring. This is the second year I've taken a whole bunch of people, complete newbies to the world of comedy. Never, when I first met them, I could neither walk nor talk. And over eight sessions, they've actually crafted jokes, created stand-up, and in a few short days, they're going to present their comedy debut to the world. Newsreader. Student at school. Image consultant. Mail order. Pen. Retired tramp. Space engineer. IT security consultant. Do you know what? The world is just so much of a better place when the sun is out in the morning, isn't it? Yay! Looking at a pair of tears first thing really cheers me up. I've got more, more material than I'm on the fact I'm going to forget some of it. I'm unemployed now, so uh, I've got the sack from the dark room at Kodak. HR said I was too negative and not developing. <laughs> Different jokes get different volumes of laughs in the different venues, and something that may have been really funny in the uh, the last place, maybe didn't get as big a laugh in this place, and vice versa. Ian Young, everybody, Mr. Arthur Smith. Why don't you wave to the people out there? Oh, give them a wave. Hello, they're warm and smug. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> All right, a man goes to the doctor, and the doctor says, I'm afraid you're going to have to stop masturbating. Oh, no, says the man, why? Well, says the doctor, I'm trying to examine you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do some quick one line or something, really enjoy the fact. <laughs> man goes to the doctor, he says, I can't say my T-H is all F. The doctor says, well, you can't say further than that, then. <laughs> what do you do if you come across the chief executive of Tesco's drowning in a canal? Well, you get your old chap out, we all over him and shout, every little bit. Yeah, it was great, really good, excellent, really enjoyed it. Really, really good. And um, Arthur is good. He says, I've never had a lettuce sticking out of my bottom, the doctor says it's just a tip of the iceberg. <laughs> This evening so far has been fantastic. The comedians have just been a laugh a minute. Yeah, what we're going to do, and then you perform once, here's the gig. It's four rooms, four times. Brilliant. Where do I sign up? <laughs> and you have to run really quickly between the gigs. Oh, perfect. Perfect. That's how I relax. Where's it going to be? Tring. I'm in. The one, the one I've just seen last was the professional. Uh, Tony, Tony Laws, brilliant, brilliant bloke. <laughs> hey ladies, ladies, drive much? Drive much? Actually, Tony, statistically, women are far better drivers than men. Woo! Back off, science! Back off! Banter! The last guy, Tony Lawless. Is that his name? 